Hey everybody, today we're going to change the rear axle oil on this stylish 250C and um, what we're going to do is go through the entire process and this is actually something you can apply to any Mercedes Benz. You don't really need very much equipment. You need a jack, two jack stands, a 14 millimeter Allen wrench, a drain pan, and about a liter and a half of ADW90 differential oil. I'm going to go a little bit higher on the jack just because I want as much clearance as possible. Okay, so now we're underneath the car, and as you can see right here, we have our drain plug and we have our fill plug up here. So I'm going to actually knock out the fill plug first because what this does is it keeps from keeps glug 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 from happening. Now what I have here that I'm using is a 14 millimeter Allen socket with a breaker bar, and in case your plugs have not been taken out for a long time, this will help you. This is actually a very, uh, uh, well, it can get pretty difficult if these plugs have been in for a long time. So there's plug number one removed. Now we're going to remove plug number two. And we put it in here like so. Be sure to shake it around and make sure it fits good. And with, usually with fairly minimal effort, it'll come loose. Now, one consistency among all classic Mercedes is the differential is always going to have a 14 millimeter Allen plug somewhere on it to drain it and a 14 millimeter to fill it. The style of differential that takes, that, that uses two independent swing axles or, or CV axles will almost always take 1.1 liters of fluid and if you have a limited slip differential be sure that you put the correct Mercedes recommended limited slip oil in it. Now look at that, isn't that gross? Most people never do this job and a lot less than one quart came out of there. Do the easy part of this job now that our differential oil has all drained out, and yes, it really is that simple. Now, when you are filling your differential oil up, you can use this great Mercedes tool. The part number on this tool is 2760, and it's from Hazette. And what it is is a 14 on one side and a 17 on the other. It makes doing differential services and oil changes easy. And you can find a lot of great tools like this on eBay that people might be selling that they've had for a long time and they don't use anymore. This little Hosette wrench is actually one of my most frequently used tools in the shop. So before I add new oil, of course, I'm gonna put the drain plug back in because that's the smart thing to do. Now when this thing is tight, you should have to use about, about 40 foot-pounds on it, maybe 50. It will get to a point where it stops turning, and you want to get it to that point so it doesn't leak. Next, we're going to add our oil. Now, what I selected was a Valvoline Premium Performance Gear Oil. It's ADW90 Viscosity, which is what these cars like. And what you can do is cut the top off of this thing to make a little syringe, and then you stick it in the hole here. Now, there's another product that I've selected called Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer. It's a very famous oil stabilizer, and I put this stuff in differentials for a couple of reasons. One of them is that Mercedes differentials can make a little bit of noise. And what the ADW90 Lucas, what the, what the Lucas heavy duty oil additive or oil stabilizer does is it causes the oil to stick to the gears better, reducing the amount of noise in the differential. Moment. 
to avoid making messes, only cut one of your little needles, and then that way you can reuse it to plug the other bottle. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding the Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer. And again, what that does is it quiets Mercedes differentials, which have a tendency to produce a minimal amount of gear line. And using our finger as a dipstick, we can check the level, which is getting very close to the top. And that's it. Now we're nearly done. When you see oil start to come out of the drain plug, then it's time to put the drain plug back in. Make sure to hand thread it so that you don't run into any problems. with the thread because the back cover is actually an aluminum cover and you don't want to damage that. And then you just roll this in. Once it starts to get tied again, kind of like the other plug, you turn it till it gets to 40 foot pounds. And once you've reached that number, well, or about that number, when you start to feel it getting really hard to turn, then you know you've done it. All done. So there's one more job that you yourself can do on your Mercedes. We encourage you to keep sending us our, your questions, subscribe to our channel, and if you want one, we'll even make a how-to video for you. Feel free to always send us your questions. We're here to answer them and enjoy driving your classic Mercedes Benz.